They can hear me, but can they hear you? Oh. What I was... went to close my I went to close my door and it and it yanked out my headphones from my ears. Oh no, he's playing his pornography. Quick, close the pornography window. <laughs> it shows all the pornography. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> why does it sound like the equivalent of, <laughs> oh no, I dropped my condom for my Magnum Because <laughs> Because that inflection, I stole it from the Simpsons. <laughs> when the police was interviewing Homer, and they asked him, so, so what were you doing at two, two and o'clock in the morning? And it goes into Homer thinking in his head, he goes, he goes, huh, I can't say I'm out drinking or I was getting in trouble. What else is open at 2 a.m.? And he tells the police officer, I was at the pornography store buying pornography. <laughs> <laughs> and and it goes back to his mind and he just says, you did it, Homer. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. There is no pornography in, in this episode on for, uh not to disappoint the one of you that that uh that wanted that ill. Welcome to episode 174 of the Hack Jack Show. I do want to start off with a formal apology for not having an episode ready last week. That is all my fault. That is all on me and on S and K. They are blamed for it too. They are they are of equal blame. We're putting a big patch and and KOF fifteen around that time, <laughs> <laughs> so you know equal equal blame there, <laughs> equal blame. <laughs> but no, in all serious, I do apologize for that. So we so for tonight's episode, you know, it, your traditional hack jack show episode. We got a few topics for you guys, and of course for the proper introductions, I am the genuinely beautiful and moronic hack. And I am your favorite VTuber, Jack. And I see in the chat, welcome, get a machine, konbawa, get all, konbawa. You're just in time because you're about to talk to bo you're talking about your main man, ghetto. No, 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 not that one. And not that one either. No, we're t no, we're talking about the your favorite red character. No, not that one. The other one. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's right, we're talking about Knuckles, the Echidna. I mean, the Echidna. I think it's Echidna, right? It's Echidna? The Enchilada. There we go. I don't. Jack, can I make a confession to you right now? Is it between All us? Right. No one's going to hear it. It's just between us. All right. I don't really like Enchiladas. Understandable. It's too much. It's just too much. It's uh, understandable. Yeah, and you know, sh keep that a secret. We don't want anyone to let this know. I don't. I don't, I don't want my Latino card to be taken away. All right. I was recording this. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> now you're gonna cancel me on X, <laughs> and and Guillermo de Toro is gonna be disappointed in me, and I'll be like, man, if only if I actually seen your movies, Mister de Toro. <laughs> no, wait, no, I lie. I've seen the first Hellboy. I don't remember much of it. I saw the first Pacific Rim. It's okay. Don't really get. The, I don't really get the hype. <laughs> I thought uh, there was a giant mech fighting a giant monster. Yeah, in the dark. All the time. I mean, and the uh, and the cool mechs got demolished pretty quickly. <laughs> I mean. Skill issue? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's a skill issue. It is a skill issue. Uh, oh, and Gettles represent Angel Island. His Angel Island forever. Nah, son, it's five ever because five is bigger than four. Think about it. Oh, by the way, Jack, did you at, at mm -hmm. all? I know you were most likely at work, but did you at all uh, catch the Super Bowl at any point? Ha! <laughs> Yes, yeah, I'm the same way. I, I didn't even bother. All, 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 I, all, all I've heard is apparently uh, the MVP of that game was Taylor Swift, and that's about it. Although, the only thing I have heard was through TikTok. 
that the Super Bowl was being played through Nickelodeon of all things. I think that was one of the things that I, I saw, which, you know, it's neat. A good, wholesome way for the kids to enjoy to, uh, to enjoy a, a wholesome American sport that's that's inferior to baseball in every in every which way. So that's I also opinion. want Dora to explain to me the the terminology of every single thing that's happening in the game. To be fair, for for how popular football is as a sport, it's kind of complicated in terms of rules. <laughs> it kind of is, which makes me think. It was just to think how you can follow this, but somehow baseball is too hard. And also, didn't apparently Larry the Lobster started streaking? I don't know. I I I, I don't I don't know, but I didn't I didn't see any of that. All I saw was uh, apparently Plankton was a. <laughs> I think someone said it best in a tweet that uh, uh, when Plankton's robot was crashing on the field, and someone said, "Who summoned the assist trophy?" <laughs> Got a good chuckle out of that. Um, oh, it's you know what? It's like the Mario Strikers. It's an item. <laughs> the players have to run through and they get an item. Oh man, that's probably how that's probably how the Kansas Chief the Kansas uh, City Chiefs won. It's good for them. They they had items on. Now now let's sit <laughs> and do the game again. No items, box only. Final destination. Oh, you know what's... everyone wave dashing to get to the touchdown. You know, I, I am I, I am kind of happy, but also sad that now all the pe- people on YouTube who live their content on making Smash Brothers related videos, they are on free fall now because now <laughs> Smash Ultimate is done, done. So it's like, well, what's next? <laughs> what what kind of it's like? Uh, yeah, I mean, I gotta. Go bad for them because the Mortal Kombat people are are in the same boat. It's like, man, you guys got nothing. <laughs> I feel sorry for y'all. Especially apparently like with Ultimate it ended on uh in a kinda of same way that Smash 4 ended, in which the latest DLC character or one of them mm-hmm. ended up being just dominating the entire meta of the game. And Smash 4 was Bayonetta. And in Smash Ultimate, it's Steve from Minecraft. The way history repeats itself. I'm just glad that it's finally over. Yes, the the Smash Purge is over. And now we can... uh, Just enjoy our life regularly, because that game doesn't affect us in any way. (laughs) So, we... So... As I was saying before, we are gonna take it, uh, take react to the to the Knuckles trailer. I haven't seen it. Uh, Jack, can I assume you haven't either? I think I have through TikTok. But like, like the but the whole thing. Probably. Okay. Well, then it's mostly react for me because I I uh I to <laughs> to use the charge word I abstinated myself from seeing it. <laughs> Strong no, peculiar no. word there. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. <laughs> I would say a different thing to make it even worse, but that's beneath me. <laughs> oh, but also, here's something more clean for you guys, and more wholesome. I have a riddle for y'all that I thought up as I was uh, leaving work today. You want to hear the riddle? All right, all right, Riddler. All right, Rizzler. <laughs> all right, riddle me this, Batman. What can you use, waste, and kill, but never borrow? What can you use, waste, and kill? Time. Correct! Yeah, that's a pretty easy riddle. Or maybe you're just <laughs> that smart. That's up to the audience I'll to decide. I'll you next time, Riddler. <laughs> no, 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 it will be, it'll, no, it will be, Jack, man, I'll get you next time. Or, I don't know, or Riddle, I forget. That really doesn't have anything like that. Jack. Jack, man. <laughs> Jack off, man. Uh, isn't that just hentai comment? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, actually. So, I 
went through okay so i'm i've been talking to a few new uh streamer friends mm -hmm. and they were doing a movie the like a movie night Ooh. on their discord i got it i came in just as soon as i missed scary movie 3 like literally ending credits were rolling up uh is that the one with the what are they is that the one with the war of the worlds parody i think that was the i think that was it okay but uh but whenever they were uh they were asking for more um suggestions i went okay my first suggestion is going to be kind of off kilter. It's going to be very sus. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> I want to watch Hentai Common. Two. <laughs> no, well, one still. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You one day we're going to have, one day uh, we're going to have to do two again. We're going to have to watch two. That's... All of us. I, I found the, you have to, you I found the link. You have to set that up. I ain't saying that up. I know. I know. <laughs> Yes, again, of course, again, again. Of yes, course. we need to see a movie we haven't watched again. And and like the funny thing is that whenever we were watching, oh, when they were trying to get it, when they were trying to look for it, it wasn't popping up. So I went with my my failsafe, Velocipaster. Ah, yes, a, a true cinematic classic, Kevin. If you want, if you want to see some good writing. <laughs> it's a free movie you can watch on YouTube. Watch The Velocipaster. It has action, romance, uh, religious conflict. It has body <laughs> horror, Satanism. It has everything you need for a good story. <laughs> Check it out. The Vel Oh, and of course, dinosaurs and ninjas. Velocipaster. Check it out. You and won't regret Templar it. Templar ninjas. Oh, great. Kevlar ninjas. <laughs> Templar ninjas. Oh, it's our Templar ninjas. N yep. Ninjas of God. <laughs> yeah, there are ninjas of God. So, uh, all in all, I could say it was success because they had no idea what they were getting into. As soon as the movie starts, you know how it starts off. Man is waving goodbye to his family. And then all of a sudden, VFX, car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh oh, oh! I see. Get He says, "You ever heard of zombie ass toilet of the dead?" Zombie. Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. It better I, not. I'm... It better not be uh like one of those um dubious films where you're not sure if you're watching it is legal. It better not be smut. That's all I'm saying. All right. I don't. I don't need to see the only chum. hell. You know, I don't need to see Italian zombie or uh or cannibal holocaust. Oh none of none of that stuff. No Caligula. I've heard of crop dusting, but this is this is not even this okay. is fumigating at this point. I guess I said schlock not smut. Okay, good. Because with a with a title like that, it's either something really stupid or or surprisingly profound. It's either what or. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? Jack, are are you able to describe what you're seeing on your end? Uh, okay. First thing I see is a woman looking very like she has a very killer stomach ache. Oh boy! And she is currently crop dusting i don't know who in the back but when i say crop dusting i mean like literally you see a giant puff of brownish yellow smacking this man in the face okay then a second thing yeah why can't you just watch normal movies for god's sake a second thing i'm seeing is i guess like an action sequence well not action sequence but like a still of it and it's basically this weird tail coming coming out of this girl's ass that's not a tail i think it's an alien i repeat again ghetto why can't you just watch regular movies man 
You know, ain't okay. nothing wrong from saying like, "Hey, yeah, I watch Indiana Jones. I watch Back to the Future." Ain't nothing wrong is with that. Is she rock? Is she flying off with her? <laughs> She's flying. She's rocketing off. Uh, all right. Now that we scare you know, all the normal people, hold on, Jeff. Now we scare all the normal people. Let's actually try to transition from whatever the heck you just described. I'm a, I'm a just uh, don't say me anything. The less I know, the better. Keep that to yourself. You know. Okay. Here's the thing. Like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> oh come on, Kevin. Wait, we do okay, some normal people. Common is not. Okay, hentai comment is weird, but it's not this level of weird. <laughs> I am so confused. Uh well, you know, you can explore that in your explore that in your own time. That means- this, this hurt me. This gave me. Hold on, I wish I could roll a dice. <laughs> uh, uh, online D twenty. How See? much damage did I take? Kevin says no hack we're not I accepted my weirdness Brace yours too I've embraced mine it's, it's just but there's levels All of us are in different levels of weird And things we're into And ghetto just happens to be schlocky Horror movie It's, 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 it's like this folks For our good friend ghetto He's into really Really sh- Just awful sh- uh, Awful uh, schlock Of movies Extremely cheesy and just out there in movies, and occasionally he hits you with something that's like, "Oh man, this is actually profound and and has some stellar writing and good cinematography." There's no either or with this man. No either or. I got I got hit with like two psychic damage. So in other words, he's a he's he is a <laughs> he he is the true cinema snob <laughs> in many ways. Oh, like- <laughs> yeah, let me see all. Man, even I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend this type of stuff. I, I let me let me let me see the critical drinker re- review. Well, what was that movie called again? Hold on, I'm looking it up. I'm going back to the comments. Let me see the critical drinker review. Zombie ass toilet of the dead. <laughs> then I'll then I'll then I'll be like, you know what? Now I'll finally subscribe to your channel because you got the you got gumption. You got the cojones. You got no fear. All right, let's see, machine girl. Let's see, let's see how nah, this looks like. Nah, leave that. Let's move on. <laughs> Look it up to your own time. <laughs> oh, that's not that bad. I'm sure it's not. Literally, she has a she has a killer looking like minigun for an arm, like Tetsuo the Iron Man. It's weird because like it's it's pretty much a schoolgirl. But then she has a killer minigun on her arm. <laughs> Just like my Japanese animes. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's go back to let's go back to something this more looks rec- like a fever dream. Let's go back to something more rec- uh, m- more down earth and wholesome. Like anthro- this so cool? like anthropomorphic echidnas. <laughs> we cannot understand that. <laughs> I don't know why these two... I'm assuming they're both main characters. I don't know why looking at them transports me back to, like, middle school. It's probably the hair. <laughs> they got that weird, like, scene haircut. The, you know, the scene, the emo girls. Um, yes, of course. The perms. Uh, the perms and the, and the fades. Yeah, uh... I think I know what you're talking about. I'm not too sure. Anyway, anyways, is that, <laughs> is that a rifle? Oh, he is. It, Jack is in trance right now. I'm trying to move on, she, and he is just in trance by this movie. Tied. Wait. Oh my god, that's so genius. Hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. I'm just describe it to you. Hold on. Hold on. Now I'm curious. Now I'm just gonna ask you, uh, Jack. Is this something we can show on YouTube? Yes. Okay. Then you know what? We'll save Knuckles for later. Miss Sarah, you came at an awful time. Oh no, I'm not talking about like the the trailer. I'm just looking at video, uh, at, like images. I'm not sure about what okay. the hell's that. Oh, okay. I thought you were looking Anyways. at. Well, let me ask. Let me ask Ghetto then. Ghetto. Uh, do you think we can show at least something from this movie, or should we like move on from a Machine Girl? Cause now he's getting me kind. Cause now he's getting me kind of invested. This is what happens. I'm just, I'm just more like, 
This is an ingenious way of having a gun. It's kind of stupid, but it could work if like you hillbilly it, hillbilly it up more. So this woman has now an assault rifle machine gun on her on her arm or like as her arm meanwhile there is i'm assuming a either a semi-automatic or an automatic pistol that looks like a glock on top of that and what it looks like is if whenever she shoots the bullet will or you know like how they they have like a little bolt the bolt will move back causing the other gun on top of it to to shoot because it's like on a on a weird little line so it's all tied up together all right, all right it's so kind of ingenious wait oh wait no not oh oh dang it's got a sequel <laughs> hold on i tried to is it called rise of yeah it's called rise of the machine girls <laughs> that's the one i'm i'm looking at right now okay so that's a sequel there's the original which came out in 2008 uh, I think this might be it. Let's see. We, it's a very sh looks like a very short trailer. I I don't know. If this is a, a official trailer or this is like some fan edited thing. But it looks like it takes at least footage from the movie. Let's let's just, let's see what we got here. <laughs> let's see what we let me see what we got here. I'll, I'll I'll show you the link, Jack. Uh, with this supposed trailer. And. And I trust Ghetto when he says it's relatively tame, so we should be okay to see this on, on the YouTubes. Maybe. And then there is... Why is there Machine Girl YouTube and then it's like random Steven Universe? I, I have no idea. Can't, can't help you there. These Steven Universe fans, they're getting out of hand. I Well, they, they, they've been out of hand. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, let's see that... All right, here we go. You, you, you say you're, you ready, ready? I'm ready, ready. All right, let's watch this. Uh, I'm assuming this is an actual trailer for the movie, The Machine Girl from 2008. Uh, this is all your fault, Ghetto. It, playing in three, two, one, play. <laughs> Ninja Yakuza. Ooh. Damn. It's revenge. We got the money. <laughs> we have the technology. Ninjas. Tempo. <laughs> oh God, the oil. Oh. James. Why can't he? Oh, good lord. Drill, Drill bra. bra. Oh no. Oh, that's a good effect right there. Machine girl. What a gory mess. <laughs> Can't tell he's writing the story down to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Woo. What a rush. You know what? I'm kinda down for it now. I'm kinda down for it. It knows <laughs> it, it knows what it wants to be. It knows what it wants to be. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna add that to the list, Appar I guess. Apparently it's on Tubi, so we can watch everyone here We're can watch it, it right now. <laughs> We're adding it on the list. <laughs> and I, I I warned you, Miss Seren. She says this is all highly disturbing. We I warned you. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Chinese says, Shao the Hedgehog deserves an apology. <laughs> he wasn't edgy enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Dislike <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God she's not unfollowing me. Um, yeah, it's always me. It's always, always me. I take the brunt of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that was that was a little fun detour, but good, but good lore. I for, I forget. At least I've only seen this in Japanese movies, and select Quentin Tarantino movies. How they love to do that effect of just blood splurting out from limbs, like obviously extremely unrealistic but it's always it's always a cool visual when you see it just, if i'm correct wasn't the the first initial mo uh, moment of that happening wasn't it actually a uh a, a production error i don't know because i don't know basically like there was a malfunction and like it started spraying more than it should and they're like you know what it looks cool let's keep it I mean, it's pos it's possible. I wouldn't know who, what, uh, what film or studio or, or director or I don't know who would who would have done that first. But if it was by accident, hey, sometimes all the best things in life happen by accident. How do you think alcohol was invented? <laughs> Definitely wasn't True. on purpose. All right, so listen. So now, so now we got Dang that. It, why are these grapes making me? funny <laughs> yo why are these grapes so lit when i when i mix it with this bread <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so we, we got fun side check to that let's go ahead get back down to down to earth kind of we'll definitely we'll watch that in our personal time but for now for now i want to I want to see. I want to see my boy Knuckles on the on not on the big screen. He's already got the big screen, but on the on the TV on the TV screen on the TV screen. You already seen this jacket, but I haven't. So, oh, I'm ahead of myself. I didn't even send you the link. That's so excited I am, or distracted. Pick your poison. There you I go. would say both. Yes, I'm distracted and. What was it again? And forgetful. That's the word. <laughs> I don't think it was forgetful. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what the words are. <laughs> I forgot words. <laughs> I, I was telling Johnny, like, man, I don't even remember. I can't say. I can't speak English. I can't speak Spanish. Damn. You gotta go with the good old Spanglish. Can't even do that. There's a way John's gonna read John is gonna reach a point in his life where he's gonna mix English and Portuguese and what will come up it will somehow sound like French. And he <laughs> and he's gonna ask himself, Pourquoi? Pourquoi? <laughs> I'm ready. Alright. Ah Alright. Let's look at the, let's look at this react to, to the knuckles to the knuckles trailer. And we'll press play on the play in three, two, one, play. You're an alien. This man dig with those gloves. Powerful. Recently saved the world with your friends. What do you like to do for fun? Yeah, appreciate. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I was thinking more like reading or or, or yoga. <sighs> Hey, buddy. Isn't it great to finally relax? I am an echidna warrior. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made myself at home. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing here? He will be challenging his greatest enemy. The vacuum. Oh, never mind. Is that our mailman? <laughs> this is not a place of battle, so I will begin. All right, pause a bit. Oh, he paused in a good frame. I will, I will gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I cut the inner child Kate came out of me when I saw Knuckles with the cowboy hat and the, the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh. no, I didn't, I didn't hear any of the audio. I was looking strictly at the visuals. And when I saw this, I was like, oh crap, yeah, the first the cowboy hat, that's a good nod to like that old Sonic OVA that came out in the 90s, where he had mm -hmm. a cowboy hat for some reason. 
So I do like that little nod to that. And, of course, Knuckles stealing Shadow Stunner by riding the motorcycle first before he, he, he did. <laughs> Knuckles did it first. Uh, Johnny, so Johnny says, I don't gusto the way you're falando to me. <laughs> 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 oh, man. But, you know, but so far, I, I think I'm seeing what this is. It's just, uh, which, you know what? For a plot for a TV show, uh, a, a or a mini series, the nomenclature nowadays. Now, this is a TV show, Jack. It's a event, a series, a mini series. Apparently, we're all adopting the power the British way do television, and that is a, in that a season is whatever how long they want it to be. No, that's not how it works. No, a season is a season, like a literal season of the Earth. No, no, you get three episodes. That's it. <laughs> six if you're six if it's a high budget episode. <laughs> I still find that pretty I'm... funny. Just a little, a little tangent. When I was watching Sherlock, yes, the BBC Sherlock. I, don't judge me. I haven't seen that show in, in forever. But when I was getting into it, I was so shocked to to, to realize that for the first season, or I technically called series one. Was just three episodes. And I was like, "That's it? <laughs> Ain't there more?" Oh, okay. And then having to wait years for then another three episodes. Okay. 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 And it's They're not skipping out on it, our. <laughs> and it's not on like our media. And it's not like these episodes longer in movies. I mean, they're about as long as your uh, like eighty. A premium show on TV, you know, like fifty minutes, maybe a little under than that. So I don't know how I don't know how why the British do it that way, but now apparently we're doing that too. But I don't think these Knuckles episodes are gonna be fifty minutes long. I like me some Knuckles, but I don't think I want fifty minutes of Knuckles. If every, every I don't want six hours worth of Knuckles. Unless maybe you guys do. Would you guys watch six hours straight of Sonic content? And and, and 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 still be sane by the end. I did. I was watching Sonic Prime. Have you seen Sonic Prime? I have not watched uh, Sonic Prime because I kind of forget that it exists. It's a good show. I like it. Ghetto says yes. He will. He <laughs> we will watch six hours with the Sonic content. Right. Based. Based. <laughs> Based said Hedgehog pilled. <laughs> Blue Hedgehog pilled. <laughs> Oh, Kevin says, I don't think that everything needs spin-offs. Fair point. Although, I would counter that of all Sonic characters, aside from Shadow, Knuckles uh, has at least had the repu- has gained- garnered enough reputation and popularity that and has enough backstory to his lore. Uh, not thanks to Ken Panders. You know that that was established by the original creators before before he came into the picture. That you could do stuff with Knuckles outside of Sonic. So I so he's the perfect character to do that. If it was literally anyone else in the Sonic cast, no. You know, at the end of the day, you know, this is something made made to entertain kids or families ever want to see it. And and if it fails to do that, then. You know, then it really is a waste of everyone's time and mo- t- uh, time and money. Let's- Man, the more I look at Knuckles, the more I'm like, "What if we got the bad ending?" What do you mean? The bad ending of the world, where it's just like instead of of them changing the Sonic design, they kept it as they initially had it. Oh, and 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 then, and that design and that design aesthetic goes into the other characters. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy! Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just like, that, that, I'm, that's a bullet. I'm glad we dodged. That's all I'm gonna the say. Right, it's continue. always all right. Let's continue. Let's continue on. I am at 59 seconds, Jack. Sorry, I, I'm I'm still stuck on it. All right, I'm ready. All right, playing in three, two, one, play. In my quest. Come, weed. Well, most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. Oh, let's go get him. That could have killed a man. Yep. Knuckles. 
Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. He's the key to all my newest creation. You worked for the Everyone Bible. apparently knows how to bring me luck. Use the 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 Sonic Friends' energy. Sorry, this lane is reserved. They're, they're the Sonic you Force, you could say. <laughs> Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason yeah, we're exactly. here. Exactly. Ah, I get it. That's a very Eggman like design, I will say that. I Even if it's not Eggman. For real. To protect this planet. I am ready. Oh, snap! Someone's about to get slapped. Okay. See, see, look at that. Six episode event. Not a TV show. It's an event. Event. <laughs> oh, I think man. today is gonna be a beautiful day. Hmm? You gonna rescue him? Imagine no, downing a whole jar of coffee like that. I, I can't. I can't. All right. Literally, the. <laughs> you know, like two weeks ago when we had that last uh, episode. Yep. And I was supposed to like take my my brother to to his doctor appointment. The the coffee that I drink, I don't know what it had in it, but it 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 had a lot of caffeine. I stayed up till six. I in, couldn't in go the morning to sleep in the morning. Yes. Oh god. Yes. And I was like, you know, I I told him like I can't do it if I go out there and I crash. Well, like when I say crash, I mean caffeine crash. Crash and then I'll crash. Yeah, I, I so, yeah I remember, but I made the well. I didn't have a strong coffee, but I remember I made the mistake of drinking coffee at night. Or I'm never doing that again. Back to knuckles though. Uh, looks fine. Um, a, a small stake story. Hopefully the. Whoever the side character is, hopefully he's fun to be with and does not not grading. And I do, man, I did enjoy this interpretation of Knuckles. So hopefully it's fun. And who knows? Ooh, maybe I get to see him use the Master Emerald. I'm just glad that they don't make him dumb. They just make him uh, <laughs> unaware of his he's ignorant. of the new surrounding season. He's ignorant. Like pretty much like. <laughs> People say like, "Oh wow, he's still dumb." Like, no, no, he's not dumb. He's just imagine going into a high tech place when all you knew, uh, when all you know was sticks and stones. Yeah. Uh, Ghetto said he's a better Drax. You know, I could, I you know, I could see that. I could definitely see that. It, it makes a in terms of storytelling, he makes a good foil for Sonic, but. Would that make, would that lead to him being a good lead though? That's the difference. Because in Sonic in the set in the second movie, he makes a good contrast for Sonic and, and an antagonist uh throughout that entire story. But here now he's taking a lead as the protagonist. Now we get to see okay. You know, because this ha uh to kind of go back to what Kevin was saying, uh, outside of Sonic, usually what happens is if if there's a spin-off of of if there's a spin a spinoff of something, usually they would make the side character the the main character, and very rarely does that work. I think the biggest example I could think of would be um, even though it's not a spinoff, it's a direct sequel, is what happened with Cars and how they made Mater yeah. the main character for Cars too. Yeah, which was which was. You could tell how much it was a bad mistake because when he did Cars Three, they downplay Mater's role significantly. <laughs> That's how bad of a mistake it was, and turn and in terms of TV show, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think another another example where, oh, that's right, uh, the infamous Jack. Did you ever catch, uh, the Jimmy Neutron spinoff show Planet Sheen? I have seen it. The short lived, I should say, Planet Sheen. I have seen. I was, you know, what's funny? I was literally talking about this with uh, with the other streamer friends, and I was just like, I, 
it first of all it, it unlocked the memory of me trying to understand what this show is all about and then like going off watching something else <laughs> but i was i think at one point i was like so when's jimmy coming back never <laughs> you're stuck <laughs> and i'm like you're stuck with him <laughs> i'm like surely jimmy's gonna help this man he this man launched himself somewhere and Jimmy's kind of supposed to be, he should surely help him, help, help Sheen out, right? Nah, he is, uh, he is, how, how, to, how, to, how to put it, he is somewhere lost in space, as, as uh, to quote the song. And somehow, Sheen is staying alive enough because everyone's dumber than him. Uh, I, I kind of hate, I kind of hate that when a show, when a show does that. When like unless it's in like a spoof, a parody, or unless it's a spoof or a parody, I really do dislike when the majority of the cast are have have to be dumber than the main character in order for the story to make sense. That's kind of one of the reasons. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. It's kind of one of the reasons why I did not enjoy Invader Zim. Oh, I. I get it how that was a big aesthetic. But at least they make good sound bites. <laughs> I, I mean, I get it how that show was a good was a good design aesthetic for the for our generation. Mm-hmm. Our generation, but the watching many girl backpacks I've yeah, seen. But watching the show itself, it's probably like the, one of the most cynical children's show I've ever seen, and I could not just I I just couldn't get into it. I did not like Zim. I hated. I hated all the supporting characters. There, I there was nothing really funny. I found I found about it. And keep in mind, I I enjoyed the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And that's because at least everyone had all at least the main characters with Grim, Mandy, and Billy. It's a very kind of cynical show, but at l- very least it had fun with the dynamics of these characters. Unlike with Zim, in which everyone is made stupid except for Zim. And who was that kid that? Knew he was an alien. I try to always dib. I dib think. with with dib. But at a certain point, even I got annoyed with dib. I just I only liked the some the sound bites from Invader Zim, which are basically very few small gags. Where it's just like, I think Zim was trying to Zim was meeting someone. He's just like, "Who are you? I am. Who are you? I am. Who are you? I am." Oh, there's oh, I think there was one episode that bothered me so much as a kid, is when mm-hmm. other species of other alien alien members of his race find Zim, and as even as a kid, I'm like, how can you mistake him for human? He literally takes off his human disguise. He is your species, and that's like I said, they potentially made these characters so dumb that they can't even recognize that the alien disguise as a human is one of them. Well, to be fair, <sighs> you can you can have the argument where they they act like that so they don't want him because they don't want him. Yeah, he's hated by his whole race, so they well maybe you could say that they're acting just to get him to be go away. If that was the case, you know, that could be the case. I mean, it was me in that context, and I saw the episode many years ago. I just remember feeling very annoyed by it, and so it's just it's just one of those shows that. I could not resonate with, and I don't find myself try, and I, and I don't see myself trying to give it give it a chance. Give it a chance. It has. I do like that dad though, the scientific dad. He's 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 there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but again, sound bites. Yep. Let me see, read some of the chat real quick. It also says praying for unknown for me. Uh, I'll. I'll, I'll Lower your hopes, uh, get a, I don't think they're gonna play that song for the Sonic, uh, uh not Sonic, the Knuckles show. But it would be nice if it did. And, and actually play the song, and not just like, uh, ooh, a ringtone or whatever. Uh, I, and ironically, yes. Nobody remembers Finding Dory. I saw Finding Dory in theaters, and I forgot I saw that movie. Kevin? I remember Finding Dory. I didn't like it that much. Good. That's how, that's the right opinion to have. Kevin says, issue is that some characters are built to be part of the supporting cast 
which is why some don't work as protagonists. Exactly, because they work within within the dynamics of their cast. And without that, uh, uh, those characters can't come off as pretty one one note. Uh, Misarin thinks my Invader Zim take is very hot, very spicy, very spicy. <laughs> oh, it get also reminds us of the Cleveland Show. Oh yeah, yeah that of infamous spinoffs. <laughs> my name is Cleveland Brown, and, and I, I am proud, proud to see. Be. Right back, back to in my, my hometown, hometown with my new family. There's good times <laughs> and bad times. I thought it was there's and good. Even a bear. I thought it was good friends. No, no way. You're right. It's bad. Oh, yeah, no, 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 you're right. You're right. That's the second verse. <laughs> okay. I found a place that everybody should know. My happy mustache. This is the Cleveland show. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> God dang it, for such a mediocre show, it had a catchy theme song. And, and the fact that, like, they always rip on it every, whenever oh, he came right. back. Oh, that's right. That's right, they did. <laughs> My favorite one is whenever uh, Peter, I think he gets locked. Oh, yeah, he's trying to lose weight, so he gets locked on in uh, Quagmire's basement. He's like, if anyone pull, uh, any the first person that pulls me out, they get their own show. Not you, Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see, Kevin. Also, comments. The other day, I had an argument with the Dragon Dragon Ball fan or Dragon Ball Z fan when I argued that Vegeta doesn't work as a protagonist without Goku. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Let me put my thinking cap and let me caress my chin with my long finger. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. You're right, Kevin. Yeah, Vegeta works. <laughs> With go, he works at within the supporting cast, mostly because I, I was uh, Vegeta alone. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of the kind of the the conflict and the interest of the character is his relationship with Goku, and him individually. You could explore stuff with him as a f at, well, with the, the the dynamic of his family, maybe like early Z, but with Super, you know, he's as good of a dad as he as he as you can make Vegeta be so he's good with his wife he's good with his kids and the best you could do is maybe a few episodes where honestly I think about it he's he's not a he's not a very active protagonist if he's not he, he's only he's either tagging along with whatever Goku's doing or training or being with his family and that's about it He's not like seeking out his own adventures or hat or or has ambitions outside of being stronger than Goku. I mean, that's like the whole thing because like Vegeta was purposely written to be competitive with only Goku and the fact that he wants to pretty much uh say I'm better than you, but the only way he can do that the, that's why that's why like it's so hard for him to ever win because or quote unquote win because <laughs> Goku always wants to better himself for himself. Meanwhile with Vegeta, it's more like he wants to show someone up. Exactly. And if exactly. he's at the top, then he he just stays there. Mm hmm Oh that's true. If if Vegeta was the strongest, he wouldn't even bother training. In many ways kind of parallel him to Frieza. Well, he would he would train, but he would never grow. You, that's you know what uh, that that's a better that's a better better way of saying it. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Sirs, every emo kid I knew would like to have a word with you, hack. Well, for, well, if they're still alive, <laughs> oh. dark humor there. Oh. I'll take him on. Oh. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> We we'll have that dark comment. Uh, oh yes, get also heard that Crush Forty uh, will be in Sonic Three, hopefully again as like a actual track used in the movie, not like a little like a reference thing. Given the surrender, like dang, yeah, yeah, you know. Johnny says, "Tough spot. Vegeta will be a shitty protagonist, but Goku is a shitty protagonist." I think, I think he eventually became one, but he, he didn't start off as one. It was. I think it's literally just because, like, 
the fact that in Dragon Ball Z, his whole thing was done. Like, there was no way for Toriyama to make an actual, like, to make him grow anymore. Yeah. So they had to regress him. Oh, yeah, that's very much like that. The bit as like the big criticism against Super. Like, oh, and Kevin says Vegeta alone is static. Goku takes him out of his com- Goku takes him out of his comfort zone. Yeah, that is true. That is very much true. And you can also add Boma to that a little bit, as 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 the few times we got to see the the brief family the dynamic. <laughs> Guy, we really really realize Vegeta really is a trophy husband. <laughs> Man, the f- <laughs> just like if you're looking for for like the the love language of touch, g- uh, good luck with that, Vegeta. With Vegeta, <laughs> you're not gonna get anything. You know what? I want to know in the comments who is the true king of the manlets, Vegeta or Krillin? Krillin. Ooh, why you say Krillin? Literally. Okay. First of all, the fact that whenever. Whenever they were having issues maritally, because it, it was like a very brief moment, him and 18, he actually went ahead and... Uh, because people will say, oh, fixing himself is not, not a good thing. I'm like, well, in this context, he was letting himself go. Like, literally, he was letting go his, his passion for what he used to do and was kind of like leaving a part of him behind. And going through that whole process to grow again for his family, not just for his wife, but for his family, his daughter, Marin. I think that's like the better than what how Vegeta is. Vegeta, the only time I've ever seen him like care for. Okay, I'm not going to say it. Okay, I'm saying it worse. I'm saying it pretty badly, but the only time I've ever seen him like emotionally be there would be whenever uh Bulma was about to have a baby the second time with uh, Buddha. with, with bra yeah well I, I, and like i i gotta commend him for that but like the fact the i don't know i think the dynamic between 18 and and krillin just is a lot better yeah uh, that's fair that's you know that's fair enough uh, let's see. Let's see, what the, let's see what the people in the chat say. Gavin says Vegeta is living the dream in many ways. Yes. Gato says Krillin. He she chooses Krillin. He's been there since the beginning. True. Lives a normal life, relatively. Yep. Uh, gets back into fray when needed, and he is the strongest human. Put a pen on that. I think Tien might want might want a word with Krillin on that statement. <laughs> and, no, he's still the strongest. I I know. It's just that I, I those those that. That slow minority of TN. I'm sorry. Hold on. I ju- I'm just made Kevin and Johnny mad. Ten shit, Han. <laughs> that strong. That small minority of ten shit, Han fans would disagree that Krillin's the strongest. But hey, who are we to disagree with Toriyama, who always knows exactly what he's doing, all the time. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Kevin says Krillin is the friend you want to have, and is someone who is always there for his family. That is true. That is true. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, Krillin uh, still reigns supreme as king of the manlets. No one is taking away that crown from from him. Oh, Kevin continues. In fact, one of my favorite moments is Super was Krillin asking Goku to punch him. He is sent flying. Goku teleports to catch him, misses this, and Krillin hits hits the wall. It's a wall. Also, uh, also. The fact that Vegeta, okay, the fact that like Vegeta got got his strength, and that could be a, a point onto why he got Bulma. Krillin, well, eighteen ob- knew obviously that she is stronger than Krillin. Oh yeah, but Krillin still got that. But but Krillin's got the heart. He's got heart and he's got guts, and guts is all you need. And plus, he and plus, he was like the only person during the whole during the whole um Android story that actually cared for 18's well being when everyone else was le- was ready to blow her up right then and there. Granted, it was for it, it was for a, a good reason because of Cell, but you know, you know, I think a, a woman can appreciate 
when when the only man she sees is not trying to kill her <laughs> or absorb her. True. <laughs> Like, see, Miss Aaron says, no, don't pander. You can't give in like that, heck. I'm not pandering. I mean, Ten Shinhan is his name. They that Like, that is his Japanese name. So I got to be correct in that regard. Still prefer, Damn, merc is... still prefer Mercenary Tao, though. I like that name better. Oh, that also. Oh, you know what? That goes into something that I've also seen kind of popping up again on, on, on X. Uh, Jack, you've... <laughs> oh, Sarah says, are you Japanese? No, I'm not Japanese by any stretch of the means. I've been there before. But, you know, it doesn't mean anything. But, you know, it's best to, to do your best to say, if you can, and there's no easier translation to say the original name of whatever piece or piece of media you're talking about, which... Transition is thankfully transitions to something I've been noticing on Twitter again. The the same old debate of should you say the English version of said media or the Japanese version? Tell me, Jack, do you watch Jojo no Kubiya no Buken or do you watch Jojo's Bizarre Adventure? Jojo. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. And you know what's funny? <laughs> what's funny? You can't tell if I'm saying it in you can't you can't tell if I'm saying it in uh English or Japanese because if you ask someone <laughs> even Japanese person they'll go Jojo. Yeah, cuz cuz they're not going to the whole mouthful of Jojo Jojo Kimio no Boken. That's too much. Yeah, that's why whenever it comes to like I ask someone <laughs> so, for the uh Dad, I disappointed Miss Saren cuz I wasn't American enough for her. One of my favorite ones like when we say Shokugeki no Soma, which is food wars. I like Japanese person would just go Shokugeki. Yeah. Or uh what's another or 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 la loop or you know what's funny? Or or sometimes mm -hmm. when the English title is an exact translation of the Japanese. Uh the one I know one I would know is uh loop Lupin the third. Guess what it is mm -hmm. in Japanese? Lupin Sansei. What does that say? What does that translate to? Lupin the third. <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna shorten it even more. Sansei. The third. <laughs> the third. Sansei. Oh yeah, so I'm just seeing the whole debate rise up again, and it's like just call it however you want, but you know, uh, but whoever you're speaking to, you know, at, at least. If they don't know what the Japanese is, just then just say the localized name or the translated name, so you guys could be on the same page and not have to deal with that's no don't pronounce it like that. You pronounce it like this. It's like shush, shush. No, you don't pronounce it. You don't say. Oh my god! It's, it's, what was that one uh, Studio Ghibli movie? The La Puta. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say La Puta. You say La Puta. La Puta. <laughs> Madre. <laughs> or uh or Ahora vamos a buscar, vamos a a la puta. <laughs> or uh <laughs> but or the uh or back or I remember when I saw I first saw this argument back when Mahir Academia was getting really popular. Whatever but mm -hmm. I always see people calling it Boku no Hero in Academ Academia and I'm like it literally <laughs> means the same thing <laughs> Word. Academia <laughs> Word for word <laughs> Rhythm for rhythm, it literally means. Oh shit! It's like ah, oh, you bunch of weirdos. See, this is why the this is why the my hero, uh, fandom has been classified as the smelliest. <laughs> right next to the Smash players and the Yu Gi Oh players. Yeah, no magic. No, I, uh, oh, eh? car, you know people who play card games. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Looking yeah. at you, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> you smelly Brazilian. Smelly. Uh, get us this. I'll be buried in the cold, cold ground before I call common writer mask writer. <laughs> but that's what it means. That's what common means is mask. So, but common writer sounds more cooler. It I will. Re I refuse to call hentai common pervert ma perverted mask. Uh, pervert mask. Mask pervert. Mask pervert. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that's that's what it means. Uh, Kevin says the Mayor Academia fandom is is the gutter for far more disturbing shit. 
Right up, you know, right up there I, with the I, uh, Attack on Titan fans. I saw, I saw the whole show, and yeah, yeah, it's not bad. That says a lot. But I don't get the, I don't get the hype of like the uh, the crazed hype. I don't get the crazed hype. Uh, like it, it's a, it's it's an okay show. It got hype because it 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 was very different. It was it was it stood up stood up from its competition when it came out. That's yeah, why. I know, but like the <laughs> Kevin's I like, don't... don't get me started on Attack on Titan. You know what? You know what? You you, you know what sh- should get started on is something that prop that probably you know it had its time in the sun, but kind of filtered out, uh, fi- uh, withered out. D Gray Man. I rest recently reread like the first three chapters of D Gray Man. I didn't like the anime. I think the anime did not do the the uh, the art of that series justice. But re- rereading it, and I'm going, dang! Now I remember why I was in. I was I was into this for a while. Then watching the anime, it was like, ugh. Uh, I forgot like, about that thing. I I thought you were talking about Digimon for a second. Nah, I ain't, I ain't talking about no Agumon, Jack. I'm talking about <laughs> Alan Walker. <laughs> Alan Walker? Yeah, that's the main Wait. character's name, Alan Walker. The most Japanese name you've ever heard. Oh, I'm confusing with Alan Wake. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that's another Jesus Japanese Christ. protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going everywhere today. <laughs> yes, you are. Kevin says, I did see D. Gray Man when I was a teenager. I only remember the protagonist design. I'll give it a read. Just, you know, the first few chapters, give it a shot on... Give it a shot. I would say, like, the, I said, the anime does not do the art uh, any justice. Uh, so, from art, from an artic, artistic perspective, I always enjoyed D. Gray Man. I'm sure if if I try to go back to it and look for more critically, it's probably not as 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 crazy as a um, or a memorable shonen compared to the other shonen at the time. But I liked for it was, and it did stood out to me. Uh, Ghetto says it's this generation's baby's first non. Oh, in regards to um, Attack on Titan, it's non battle showing like Death Note and Full Metal Alchemist. You know what, what that are you makes talking about? There's so much mental battle, <laughs> the <laughs> mental gymnastics. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. You know the one thing I do like about like the uh, nowadays when it comes to like the AI voice stuff. Uh huh. It is like the new dumbest skit of L versus Light, <laughs> where it's like, "Hey L, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab something from McDonald's. Do you want anything?" Oh no, I'm not hungry. And then it's just like inner monologues, like, "Oh, that's weird. He didn't want to ask. He didn't ask for anything. If I ask for anything, it sounds like I'll be submitting to Kita. But if I don't ask, if I do ask for something, then I'll be an accomplice to Kita." What's your move? I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Any interest? <laughs> any itch, Any interest I had in checking out Death Note fell when I saw that c- video, that Columbo parody. <laughs> 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 and that's because at the time I was watching Columbo, get into Columbo, and I thought to myself, you know, it would be cool to see if Columbo solving the 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 the, uh, the Death Note case. So it makes a video about it, and I was like, yep, that's about as I will go down. And I just lost any interest watching the actual show or reading the actual manga. I was like, I was going to watch Columbo instead. My favorite (laughs) recent uh, little AI skit was Light finally having, like, couldn't bear the burden of what he was doing. And he was confessing to, to L everything he was doing. And L doing mental gymnastics, going like, huh, why is he saying that? Why is he confessing so easily? Does this mean that he's not Kira? So, like, why would you say that? Can you give me some solid proof? Well, you see, I have this, uh, I have this book that came, that came to me from a god. And uh, if I write names down, they get heart attacks. But uh, I don't want to burn, I don't want to burn this, uh, this book because if I do, then the, the god will have it back. He's like, huh. You know, like I think you, I think you're very tired today. Maybe you should lie down for a little bit. Just throughout the whole time, L gaslighting himself. 
Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> oh man. But, yeah, but no, but not serious. I probably should just give Death Note a chance. One day, someday. No, I should watch the Netflix version. No, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'll watch the other live action version. <laughs> yeah, it says Attack on Titan has a lot of fighting, though. Pretentious writing, notwithstanding. I was the death. I was very good. Give it a chance. Give me a chance, baby. Give it a chance. Yeah, it says. I found it. I found it here. Guys, says, I mean, he says, I mean, non battle shonen, as in doesn't have the usual bad shonen tropes like tournaments, power ups, and whatnot. Full Metal Alchemist also has fights, but fights, but fights aren't the focus. Exactly, the focus is about philosophy and the philosopher's stone and how we all yeah. should be God. There you go. I want, I want to, I want everyone to watch this one. It is. Four minutes long. That's too long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now what? 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 No, what? are you sending me? Oh, the oh, okay. The the, the skit. Now nah, that's a bit too long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or you know what? You know what? Let the audience decide. Do you guys want to see this Death Note skit that Jack's talking about? Speak up in the chat. Be, let I want to hear the voice of the people. The people. We don't have polls in, in YouTube. That's a Twitch thing. Doesn't matter. We have enough. We have, our chat, we have enough people that we could just count by how many there are in the chat. We don't. <laughs> let's be real here. <laughs> I want my fancy polls. No, po no polls for you. Only the Irish. No po No Polish. People. Only the Irish. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. See, that's what's a good joke. You had to think about it for a second. Yeah. Alright, we got two votes now for Miss Saren and Ghetto. What do Kevin and Johnny have to say? Anyone else watching may be lurking, being like, hmm, I don't think You can't just call out lurkers. That's not actually that's actually not nice. For Twitch. Let them lurk. For Twitch, for Twitch. <laughs> oh, by the way, I had I had a weird interaction happen. I apologize, on lurkers. Weird stream rules. No, no, not even I, rules. I had it's guidelines. More like guidelines. No, it's just basically going. It's like saying to. It's basic human decency. That's what it is. No, it's just that if someone doesn't want to feel like talking, they don't talk. I know, I, I, I know, I know. It's just. But I, I did had a weird interaction on YouTube. It's always the YouTube side. <laughs> uh, someone thought I was an AI. <laughs> you know, you know what that means. You know what that means. What? That they're stupid. I, I, well, that was, that was the thing. Like, at first, I thought they were joking around. Like, and then after a while, I just kind of went like, "Oh, oh, I forgot. People on YouTube don't know this stuff. They don't realize this." So I had to explain to them what a VTuber is, <laughs> and then they proceeded to say the most off kilter things. After I imagine, probably a kid. Daddy says, "Do a poll to see if we need a poll." I vote for the poll. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Nah, let's let's go ahead and watch it since uh, uh since uh, Jack was kind enough to share it. Let's go ahead. I, I am. Confess to I like you, I like to see, I like to consider myself a more ben, a bene, benevolent dictator. Dictator. Emphasis mm. on the word benevolent. The dictator. Yes, with I don't with, know. With, an, with, with e e emphasis on the dick. More like a a puppet. To the true dictator. <gasps> Miss Saren! Bam, bam, yes. <laughs> bam. She's pulling all the strings. Why? Because yeah. that's what all women do. Just pull the string. Pull the <laughs> string. Pull the string. <laughs> all right. All right. No more, Ed, no more Ed Wood references. All right. I got the video up. Let me go ahead and uh, shrink our little uh, shrink our icons a bit. Let you know when I'm ready. And the opposite of enlarge, shrunk. Oh, that's too small. There you go. And we're we're shrinking, but we're strong. Shrunk. <laughs> we're like we're like Ant, we're like, we're like Ant Man. We're like Ant Man without the abuse. There you go. All right. <laughs> I am ready, Freddy. All right, let's watch this video in a three. A two, a one, 
Oh, hold on. I, I'm going to oh, rewind oh. a bit. All right. Oh. In three, <laughs> two, one, play. I want to confess to you, L. I am Kira. You're just coming out and saying you're Kira? What is your game, Light Yagami? I'm almost positive you're Kira. Yet the real Kira would never just admit it unless he had some trick planned. The guilt has been really getting to me. At first, I was just killing criminals, judging the wicked and trying to make the world a better place for the innocent. But I've been killing more and more innocent people whose only crime is that they were opposing Kira. I've gone too far, and it's time for me to face justice. And what brought about this sudden desire to confess? The real Kira would never say this, and it doesn't seem like there's an angle for Light to benefit from. Is it possible Light isn't Kira, but just thinks he is? It was after I killed Naomi Masora, instructing her to commit suicide in such a way no one could ever find her. I mocked her, gloating about her death. It struck me then I was becoming something as terrible as the criminals I was killing. I need to face justice. Well, this is the end. It's what I deserve, but I hope Elle will pull a few strings to ensure life imprisonment instead of execution. I need to sit and have a long, hard think about the kind of person I was turning into. If what you say is true and you really are Kira, then you'll know what method he was using to kill. I used a magical notebook called a Death Note, which allows you to kill anyone if you write down their name and know their face. You don't have to use heart attacks, though that is the default, but I used that method primarily because I wanted the world to know there was someone judging their actions. It was given to me by a Shinigami after it was thrown to Earth because he was bored and wanted to see how things would play out. Also, it gives me the ability to control people for a certain time before their deaths, which I've used to throw you off. I see. Well, that was clearly complete nonsense. <laughs> I have no idea what game he's playing, but I'm starting to think Light Yagami is just a moron with delusions of grandeur who thinks he's Kira, but actually isn't. And what happened to this magical notebook? The moment I realized what was happening to me, I buried it somewhere no one will ever find it. Before you ask, I did this because if I had just returned it to the Shinigami who was called Ryuk, incidentally, then I would have lost all my memories. As is, it's still technically mine, but I won't allow others to become corrupted as I did. Not even the smallest piece of physical proof. Is he trying to send me on a wild goose chase, or could he actually be innocent? Even if everything you say is true, then that doesn't explain when your father and I installed cameras in your room and saw a criminal get killed by Kira, even though you had no access to the name or face of that criminal. I don't accept Kira would confess so readily, but if you're able to answer this riddle for me, then I'll believe what you say. Damn it, I can't reveal my trick with the potato chips. It was the only thing giving me purpose. <laughs> It's fine. I've given him more than enough evidence to convict me. I'll tell him nothing about that one little thing. Well, that would be illegal in Japan, so I don't accept that you'd have installed cameras in my room. Oh my god, he knows nothing about this. And his suffering delusions. <laughs> I've been wasting months of my time. I need to think of a smooth way to pull myself out of here. Ring, ring. Do excuse me. One moment. <laughs> <Teach> <laughs> <it's> <laughs> ring, ring. Pretend his phone was ringing by saying the words ring, ring. <laughs> what was that, Watari? Compelling evidence Kira is actually on the other side of the world? Evidence Kira fled Japan after that first TV broadcast I did? In retrospect, it makes a lot of sense that after telling Kira I'd narrowed it down to the Kanto region of Japan, he would have left. Well, looks like I have to leave goodbye forever, and Light, please look into getting therapy. Um, okay, wait, so did I win? Um, just as planned? Uh, just planned? Oh, according to <laughs> Keikaku. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was worth it. <laughs> I was trying to see where it was heading, and it went to a good direction. <laughs> oh, let's ring, see. Ring. Uh, yeah, hello? <laughs> Uh, I'm the oh. real, the, I, it's beautiful. I love these little interactions with AI. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you know, oh, another topic to, to discuss here. Switching, switching gears. Bum, 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 bum. Because we have a little bit of... Ah, damn, hold on. I'm looking at the time. I don't think we have time. Damn it. Uh, I wanted to talk about the yellow paint, but we do not have time for the yellow paint. We can we we can do it very quick. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do the abridged version. Jack, give All me right. give me your quick thoughts on the yellow paint. All right. To give people some context, it's 
if I'm correct, it's talking about like the FF six, the Final, not six, seven, the Final Fantasy seven stuff where they're putting yellow paint on the rock to be able to see where you need to go. Yes. Uh, I don't really mind it because. Oh, aren't you? T- aren't don't you know it's making you a dumb gamer? According to X, <laughs> it's literally. I swear, it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> if you don't do it, people are like, "Well, how am I supposed to see that? The game looks so good, I can't. I don't know where I need to go. Game looks so good, I can't tell which rock to climb on." <laughs> And then, of course, if you do it, then, of course, you have this, where it's like, I'm not dumb. I can, I can follow the rules. I'm like, okay, good for you, but maybe some other people need it, like me, whenever I'm doing a middle of a stream and I forget where I'm going. Or the fact that we're in Resident Evil 4, the original, I spent 30 minutes looking around for an, for something to disable a trap just so I could find out it was right to my left. This is your DSP moment right there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, like, oh, 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 speaking of, they uh, it's very short. Did you ever see that uh, that uh, GDC like presentation where I think like the the developers of God of God of War actually used DSP's uh, uh, stream of God of War to show like as a like pre- to show uh, game design of how they can lead the player to where they want to go. Pretty, <laughs> I haven't seen that, but oh, that's, that's a, a good example. It's amazing. It was pretty much a a professional and and a professional way to show like, hey, look, the way we design our games, even stupid people can figure out how how to how to advance in the plot. Is that was literally what it's about, but just more kinder and more professional. <laughs> Exactly. Right. Yeah, and as and and as for as for my take, as someone who has who studied this crap, look, here's a here's a thing, folks. Here's a thing. All right, if there's anything you have to take from my word, is that it's always it's always gonna be about how it's implemented, and that ever ever since video uh, video games started to have more than five colors on a screen, uh. A lot of game designers have ha- have had to figure out ways to guide the player without with without not hand holding them. That's not the right word to use for it, but to guide the player without uh without making it seem that without making it seem that the player is accomplishing nothing, because that's the whole point. If you ever, because here's like kind of the the here's like see behind the curtains. If you ever succeed in something and you feel a sense of accomplishment, guess what? That was 99% intentional. That is how a lot of game design is. And so they and 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 so because of that, those Eureka moments, they're all all good, they're all they're all heavily and intricately designed for you to solve it in whatever manner the designer wants you to do it. Now, when it comes to things such as simple as climbing a ledge or knowing which objects are interactable or which are not, I don't. Th- ish, I don't see the argument of how it is such uh, an, an experience breaking uh, moment in which you see a box marked in yellow or you see a wall in yellow, and all of a sudden you the game just becomes a terribly designed mess in front of you. I don't know what kind of brain you have. You know, not everything can be Dark Souls or a FromSoft game. Not everything can be can have that design philosophy because every people design games differently. Some will guide you more than up than others. And as well, in regards to the Final Fantasy VII example that's gone up recently, for Pete's sake, folks, it's an action RPG. The hope is not a platformer. It's not. It, it's not. It's it's not. It's nothing else, aside an action RPG, and the fact that people are getting upset, of looking at easily at, readily of, at, at visually readable prompts, for you to traverse whatever area that screenshot took place in upsets you. 
says a lot more about you than the game it's than the game itself you know it's like i said it's an action rpg where it's all about battles leveling up your characters and and being submersive in the plot in the in the plot in the world it's one thing it's one thing if maybe it, it was it was like a platformer or it was something it get to uncharted to where uh it's best to find more natural ways of highlighting things you can climb but the same at the same time it could be the opposite example because there's tons of nes games of of that time in which because the designers do not differentiate what is a platform what isn't have a lot of players being frustrated of, of jumping on each of these platforms and falling down because they didn't play test enough to make them different and also in regards to play testing it is not a bad it's not a bad thing and you should also understand that your big budget million dollar video games are going to be designed for the so that the majority of people of customers can enjoy them well that means things are dumbed down absolute absolutely so that so that the majority of people can be enjoyed if that really does bother you then literally find other games to play that suits your taste you're not just as you're not always going to enjoy every indie games out there you're not always going to enjoy every big budget game out there find something that speaks to you and that or that challenges you prop properly and stop complaining about things that you either had or had no interest in the first place and just stop being such nitpickers about about just the current design trends that have don't big impact and i'm still kind of weirded out by that one post i saw that really delve into weird philosophy about how we're making gamers stupid because I'm, I'm done i'm done i'm sorry i'm i'm done it's 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 not it's nerve-wracking jack because I, I don't know how is this is an if this is something that's de being debated and i only opinions i care about are for people who actually have designed games that's it all right i'm done that that's the that's literally the, the whole thing nowadays is people think that they know how a game is designed because they keep playing them but just because you play the game doesn't you know doesn't mean that you know how to design the game exactly exactly but uh, but yeah none of that because we <laughs> got to wrap things up all right jack anything to announce uh until the next episode of the hack jack show uh first and foremost let me double check let me double check so, yeah, i wanted to say thank you to everyone uh for helping me out on well technically both here and twitch i have now gotten to 150 followers on twitch Woo! Wait, well, hold on where's, you... where's that button hold on hold on, hold on. I'm holding hold on. It's holding uh, uh there we go Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, uh, I did, of course, for this time, I wasn't expecting the, the goal to be uh, reached that quickly. So, next time, I am preparing myself a little bit more. For when we hit 200, I will do a karaoke stream. I, I, I will do the it. best I can. I I'll do it. the best I can when it comes to song requests. I, I don't know if I can do all the songs. <laughs> or how long <laughs> but i'll try my best i gotta put some type of goal out there uh i'm also thinking up of a goal for or like a goal reward for the subscriber count on twitch because they have unlocking uh, after a certain point you get more emotes and stuff so i'll work on that as we go along but if everything goes well, my streams this week should be okay. Especially, oh, uh, Thursday, Friday, I might do my streams earlier than usual because I actually took days off. I, I asked for some days off because I am tired. Every single time something happens at work, it's always something big on my shift. And whenever someone else has something happen on their shift, it's usually a, a small alarm for me. I get the weirdest things happening at night. So I deserve some, I, I deserve a break. <laughs> so I might be able to stream earlier than usual on Thursday, Friday. I will, of course, let everyone know on my Discord and on my Twitter, which you could follow me at, well, you could see it up there. It's at just Jack VT. 
<laughs> Thank you, Jack. And as far as my end, uh, let's, let's see. Saint Seiya still, uh, still in development. Um, there was a uh, in the last episode, I did say that there was a stream I was planning that had to be put on hold for the moment. I won't say more anything than that until things start to become more concrete. So, and and I will do a proper chill stream this this Friday as well, uh, since 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 the uh, last Friday was just me goofing around on Tekken, but this weekend I'll actually do a proper uh, a proper chill uh, chill stream. Oh, and also, you know, I was kind of joking. I was still joking about it, but now I think about it, you know what? We'll have a subscriber go for the YouTube channel if we hit. 1,000 subscribers. I will let Dr. Crow chop off my head. You know, I heard about that. I literally was talking to Dr. Crow on my chat, and he's, he mentioned that. I didn't think that was going to be real. <laughs> nah, he, he, has the, he has the technology. and He has the science. More like the magic. Can I put you in the little jar and then feed you little fish pellets like how they do in Futurama? <laughs> uh, no. No. So yes, Aww. if you want to see me beheaded live on YouTube, you know, spread the word of, of, of the of the Hack Jack Show. Get us to one thousand subscribers, so that I may be, so that I may finally, finally have a graceful end to my YouTube career. That that and that is all. Johnny is speechless. <laughs> <laughs> so there you are, folks. There's your there's your incentive. And with all of that, thank you very much for for watching episode 174 of the Hack Jack Show. And we hope to look forward to forward to you on the next episode on the next episode. And uh, this is Hack. This is Hack. And Jack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 This is <laughs> sign out. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>